New Zealand will enter the Champions Trophy in high spirits after their one-day series winning England as they bounce back from their difficulties in the Test match in magnificent fashion. Their victories at Lords and the Aegeus Bowl over the last few days have really marked them down as a potential winner of the Champions Trophy, a tournament they, they won back in 2000 to secure their only piece of global silverware so far. It continued to run a form, um, an impressive run of form in one-day cricket in England for New Zealand. They'd won a multi-team tournament in 2004 and they also beat England 3-1 in 2008 over here in what was quite an acrimonious series. So them winning the series here in England was not a surprise, except they've come off quite a barren run of one-day form. Since reaching the quarter-finals of the 2011 World Cup, they, they, they'd only won four games against major nations, excluding Bangladesh and Zimbabwe, who obviously aren't in the Champions Trophy. However, since 2013 has ticked over, they've beaten South Africa on their home soil 2-1, albeit they got beaten by England in the series in March 2-1. But this series winning England has really... Um, come at an ideal time. Brendan McCullum and Mike Hessen have, have tried to take the New Zealand's one-day cricket back a few years. Um, the likes of James Franklin, Grant Elliott have been recalled, experienced all-rounders. They're obviously trying very hard to get Daniel Vittori fit for the Champions Trophy as well. So they have a real experienced core of players that will be able to take them, I think, quite a distance in the Champions Trophy, although obviously it matters, um, it matters how soon you peak. They'll be hoping they haven't peaked in this one-day series against England, that they, they save it for the matches that, that really matter in the Champions Trophy. Who do I think their key players are going to be? Well, I still think it's going to be the batsmen that can set up this tournament for New Zealand. Um, they'll hope that the weather continue, continues to improve over here. The, the sunnier, warmer weather that's arrived in the last couple of weeks has helped pitches flatten out a bit, as we saw at the Aegeus Bowl over the last weekend. Scores of 300 may, may now be more likely in the Champions Trophy. From New Zealand's top order, Martin Guttel's Gupta is obviously in world-class uh, career best form for him, but I still think Ross Taylor is a huge part to play. He found some form in the test matches against England and brought that into the one-day series. His role is going to need to be twofold. I still think there's a real chance that top-order wickets are going to go cheaply to the two new white balls. So a player like Ross Taylor at number four, he'll firstly have to consolidate if, for example, he's in at 30 for two. If he comes in at 100 for two, then he can be a bit more attacking as he was at the AGS Bowl. In fact, in the one-day series against England, we've seen Taylor play both his roles. It, at Lords, it, New Zealand lost two weeks in the first over, and he counter-attacked, he counter-punched, which put England on the back foot. And I see that as an important role for him in this tournament. A surprise package? Well, I've been very impressed by what I've seen from Mitchell McLennigan, the tall left armour in recent months. The New Zealand certainly aren't short of left arm quicks when you look at the likes of Neil Wagner and Trent Bolt, who played in the test matches, but Trent Bolt's been ruled out of the Champions Trophy, and Neil Wagner doesn't play one-day cricket. McLennigan, he hits the pitch hard. He's using a very attacking role by Brendan McCullum, for example. Against England recently, he's been brought back onto target. Owen Morgan and Josh Butler, England's seemingly powerhouse middle order with great success. He's, he's roughed those two guys up with short balls. And I think that's a format Brendan McCullum, the in, in, uh, inventive captain, will use throughout the tournament. He'll bowl Mitchell in short, sharp spells, maybe three with the new ball, three in the middle, three or four at the end. And so I think he could have a big say in the Champions Trophy. Can New Zealand go all the way? Well, global one-day tournaments have been good for them. It wouldn't really be a global event, would it, if New Zealand didn't reach at least the semi-finals. It's all about peaking at the right time. This form against England, it's certainly, it's certainly come an opportune moment. If they can keep that going and get through the group stages, then who knows? If you, to, to win the tournament, then you just need to win a semi-final and a final. New Zealand have experience of that. And under Brendan McCullum, they're forming a tight unit. They're experienced players, the likes of Ross Taylor, who I've mentioned, Kane Williamson, Martin Guptill, the captain himself, and then the bowlers, uh, Southie, Carmills. If they all perform for the next two weeks, I can, New Zealand, I can see New Zealand having a very good Champions Trophy.